Okay, hello friends, welcome to getting yourself organized with org mode. My little screencast about org mode. Today is Monday of the fourth week, that means episode 4, snippet 1. And we will talk about order tasks. That's a very easy topic. Uh, the goal that we have is that we want tasks to be completed in a special order, one after the other. I can show you in my org file that I have prepared. You see, this is my episode 4 schedule. Today we are here. And of course, I want to record the thing. But before that, I have to set up the stage. That means I have to, to put this document here. I have to open the editor. I have to put the key monitor and so on. So I have one task that says setting up the stage. Then do the recording. And when this is done, I want to upload it to YouTube. But I can't upload it, uh, a video to YouTube until I have recorded it. And I can't record it until uh, the stage is set up. So we can have a look at another task. It's building a house, little project. Of course, you have to start with building a basement. You can't uh, mount the roof when you have no house. So the first thing is build up a basement. The next one is build the ground floor and then we want to build the roof. So usually if you look at this uh, in the agenda view, let's put this a bit out. Uh, I have scheduled it. We have a very fast house construction uh, company. Today they built the basement, tomorrow they built the ground floor and on uh, Wednesday they will mount the ceiling. But uh, if you have it in a normal mode, you can have a look at the agenda. You see there are all my tasks and that's it. And let me quit here. And of course, I could easily say, okay, I want to finish that build the roof task, even if the others are not done. But that's something I want to avoid. And to avoid that, you can put your cursor on the parent item. In this uh, case, it's the, the project building a house. And you press Ctrl C, Ctrl X and O, Ctrl C, Ctrl X and O. And now you see, <coughs> we have created a properties folder that has an ordered property and this uh, ordered property uh, set to true, that's the T here, means for alt mode you can't close the second task until the first one is done. So if I put myself here and I would say control C, control T, done. Then, okay, it says to do change, uh, a state change from to do to done is blocked by uh, to do build basement. That means you have to finish build basement first and then you can uh, finish build the ground floor. That's, that's the direct uh, impact of this ordered property, but this does only happen if you set up the customizing for org and force to do dependencies to true. And the standard setting it's not set, so uh, you can do it. But if you make a customization and you say all uh, enforce to do dependencies to true, that means uh, you get uh, every other task blocked until the first one and so on is done. The other one that, that you saw from those customizing variables was uh, org track ordered property with a tag. You see, we uh, toggled the ordered property and we automatically created a tag that says ordered. This tag is just there to make it visible because if you close the properties folder, you don't see that this thing uh, is ordered. And unless you look in the properties folder, you see it. But uh, this order tag is just to make it more visible that now you have a bunch of other tasks and it's really just visualization. It's, it's not that if you write ordered as a tag somewhere, then that everything below that has to be ordered. The ordered functionality really depends on the property. 
Okay, that's it for, for ordered things if you look at the agenda now. Uh, there is another op thing uh, happening, Control C, A, my weekly agenda. You see now, I see the first task of these three is in green. That means I can finish it, I can do it. And the other tasks are still there, but they are grayed out. And responsible for this behavior is a variable that says org agenda dim block tasks. If you set this to a limit, that's the standard value, then you have a agenda that looks like that, that you see your tasks that you can do, but uh, the ones that you are not allowed to complete, they are still there, but they are dimmed out. Okay. Then there is uh, a last thing because this uh, ordered property does not only affect to do tasks, it could also affect checklists. If you have a checklist, then uh, you could say I set org enforce to do checkbox dependencies to true, and then you can't uh, finish a task that has checkboxes until all checkboxes are done. So that's about the other tasks. Uh, sometimes you need it, it's not often that you need it because uh, org mode is, is uh, not a classic uh, project management tool. You know, if I have a, a tool like MS Project or whatever you use uh, to create project management, you can define a lot of dependencies that you say a task A uh, has to come after task B and uh, it also has to come before task C and uh, also before task D, uh, but part task C and D could be in parallel or whatever, this, this is not possible in org mode. Org mode is just, I have one upper task and I want the, the children of that be completed one after the other. It's just a uh, sort of comfort because now if I am a bit too hasty and, and I well, to try to finish a task and I'm on the wrong line, like here, I can press Ctrl C, T, done, and it says, oh sorry, it doesn't work, you have to complete the upper one first. So that's it for today. Uh, was a very short one, actually. Tomorrow, you see, we will have a look at timers. That will be a bit longer because uh, timers means I have to spend some time. But so far for Monday this is enough. Thanks again for listening and for watching my screencasts and thanks for all the comments and subscribing to my YouTube channel. This thing is really getting big actually, but it's a lot of fun to produce the screencast so I will go on until I'm totally bored of it, but that will take a while. Okay, I'll be back tomorrow. See you then. Thanks for watching.